Hello everyone, welcome to another Vlogmas, another beautiful snow day. We're going on a little winter hike, winter walk with Odin. It's just stunning, but fortunately it's a little bit cloudy today so the view isn't as amazing. Usually up at the top here you can see like oh, this beautiful um, panorama, but Odin is absolutely loving the snow. And then there's a little cafe at the front, like a little restaurant, and so we're gonna go on the walk, come back, and then have like a hot chocolate. Perfect. Go get it! <laughs> Odin, go get it! <laughs> oh, he's so cute. Oh, it's so tough to get outside, huh? I'm wearing my actual hiking boots. Dashing through the snow In a one-horse open sleigh Oh, the fields we go Laughing all the way Felt some bobtails ring Making spirits bright the afternoon because we just came back here I'm just cooking dinner now actually I'm having like a quiet evening and I'm actually pretty tired from today Odin was being so cuddly he's right now back there on his chew working on a chew I'm just about to make a very healthy juice but I'm gonna be making a carrot orange ginger juice which is one of my absolute favorite I love the citrusy sweetness of the orange and then the the carrots it's just like the perfect blend half of this or I might do the whole ginger ginger is so great especially in the winter to help fend off um, colds and stuff. Mmm. By the way, I put in that entire chunk of ginger. It was pretty big, but it goes so well. And honestly, a juice like this, if you went to like a juice bar, it would be so expensive. Like the juicer is a one-time investment. I mean, the fruits and vegetables just go with whatever is seasonal. So, you know, oranges are in season, so they're really cheap and carrots are always cheap anyways. Uh, watch Mindhunter. If you guys haven't seen it, this is the crown. Oh, season two coming December 8th. Oh my God, cool. I can't wait to watch that. I'm gonna watch Mindhunter if you guys haven't seen it. Oh my God, you guys need to check it out. Good morning, everyone. It's Sunday and it is 9 30 or something in the morning i just got up like half an hour ago and uh, i'm actually just getting ready to go to crossfit this morning with a friend of mine and <laughs> i'm actually excited it's a long session it's a one and a half hour session i'm just gonna have a coffee before i go and that's it like i don't eat anything before and then i will come back here and um get ready and start it for the day but usually by that time i'm like exhausted <laughs> um because the weekend session is so long I wanted to quickly uh, show you the advent calendar before I left. So this was number two. It was a little um, birdie. Forgot to open that yesterday. And then number three. Oh, it's a little, little dolly. Oh, how cute. I just got back from CrossFit. It is now 12.14. I took a shower, of course, because I was so sweaty. My face is still quite red. Now I'm going to have something to eat. I'm really hungry. Basically, I haven't eaten breakfast or anything. So I took a shower. I'm going to have a nice breakfast. And I'll have a bunch of house chores to do in the afternoon. Exciting things like washing laundry. Bjorn is going to open his advent calendar for today. Number three. Let's see what's inside. Oh, mm. a bounty. You like bounty, right? I love it. Warm cinnamon nights. It's a shower gel. And a douche creme. Does it smell wintry? Yeah, it smells like like a drink. <laughs> like a drink. So look, the advent calendar is complete now. I think we have all, do we have all 24 now? Yeah. We have all 24. Odin even has one. Look, Odin has a little advent calendar. So cute. Okay, so I also haven't opened the NYX Lippy Countdown calendar. So let's do that. Number two is a liquid suede cream lipstick 
kind of a darker one. And then this is number three. This is the Simply Vamp Lip Cream. Looks kind of like one of those crayons, also in a quite a dark color. All right, so I'm making a vitamin juice again. I'm making carrot, orange, apple, and ginger. Where's the piece? Yeah, this big chunk of ginger. It's time for Odin's advent <laughs> Oh, Odin. Time for your advent calendar. He's all excited. I can't do it. I'm He knows he's getting something. Can you go to Good, good boy. Oh, what is this? And cookie. My friend came by. We did some scheduling for our CrossFit classes. We kind of rescheduled some of the classes that we had booked. So we have a starter um, subscription with the CrossFit studio where we go to. So it's for a month and I think we're gonna continue it in January. So we're gonna probably do um, another month of CrossFit in January like twice a week. Cause right now we're going three times a week. Yeah, Odin's having a nap. And actually I'm just sitting at my desk now editing Vlogmas. Tonight we're having a really yummy dinner, a very calorie dense dinner. So I haven't really eaten too much today. I had like a juice and I had a light breakfast after I got getting home from CrossFit, but I'm not gonna eat anything else until dinner tonight because we are having raclette, which is a very typical Swiss uh, food. It's like melted cheese and I'll show you guys how we make it. Okay, so I wanted to show you what we're having for dinner. So this is um, raclette that we're gonna be making. So first we have a little starter salad, although I think we're just gonna eat it with, I always like to have something fresh with it. So it's not just like cheese and potatoes. Um, and then this is the little rocklet oven. Ours is actually broken. We need to get a new one. Like it still works, but this top thing is like broken. Usually you can grill, if you want, you can additionally grill meat and stuff in here. And then here's the cheese. So this is different kinds of rocklet cheese. We have a smoked rocklet cheese and this is a rocklet cheese with garlic inside. And you put it in these little pans and then it like cooks it underneath here. And then you just serve it with uh, steamed potatoes. Very typical is to have these different spices that you can add to the cheese. So I have some chili, I have some cumin, curry, and then I have paprika. Usually you can buy even like a ready mi mixed spice mix for raclette in Switzerland, but I just like to use whatever I already have. Then I have here some sun-dried tomatoes and we have some gherkins or like cucumber. Like so, and usually with something that's very uh, t traditional is pickled onions. And we forgot to buy those. And another thing that I really like is canned pears, like pear in its own juice. We forgot to buy those as well. Okay, so I have my potato here. And then the cheese looks like this once it's grilled. Look at that. It's not so yummy. And then you can basically slide it off onto the potatoes. I have two on the go. Oh my God, these are really ready. Scrape it down with this wooden stick and you scrape it all over the potatoes. Ooh, and then you scrape the cheese off. Thank you guys so much for watching this Vlogmas. Remember, if you missed any of the previous Vlogmases, you can check back on the playlist right now. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel because I've got more Vlogmas videos in this month coming up. So thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you very soon.